Hey guys, welcome back. Board Bomb here, and uh, hello. It's been a minute. It's been a long time. This is a very, very, very test upload. So bear with me if there's any issues. But hey, we're doing a live tabletop game. I figured I could do this since my computer is still broken. Um, still no signs of getting it fixed. Still no signs of getting a new computer yet. Talking to different people, sponsorships, uh, talking to different creators, uh, not creators, um, people, friends, things like that. Trying to raise money essentially to get a new computer. If you guys don't know, I'm still like in the hole as far as my debt goes because of medical stuff that I'm still paying off. So buying a computer right, right now is not really in the cards. But thanks to all you lovely people from the Patreon, which I wish I could have your, I should, man, it'd be nice if I had your list of names, but unfortunately I'm using my phone to record, so I don't have my phone to have a list of names for. But my buddy Kate, who just put the cat away, is going to be playing today. We're going to be playing a tabletop game. I'm not too sure if we're going to do best of three or best of one. I guess we'll be, we'll dictate this based on how long my camera will hold up for me and the battery will hold and stuff like that. But right here, uh, say hi, Kate. Hi. So Kate's here. She's my usual recording partner. Not right now. We're playing uh, Bocephalon with a Naganadel GX, uh, the new dragon one. So it's just one of Naganadel GX, but we're using it as both a draw engine uh, to help us find B strings as well as an attacking presence because we don't have any gusting in this deck. Uh, <clears throat> you could play cards like Nine Tails, but I don't. I don't. After building this deck, I couldn't find the room for things like. Uh, what's it called? Um, custom catcher. Custom catcher, or for computer searches to make the nine tails thing work. Not computer search. Uh, Pokemon communications. That's what's called. Uh, so I figured instead of doing all that, the Naga makes a really good sniping option, which kind of acts like a pseudo gusting, because all we're trying to do is being a, be as aggressive as possible in this deck. And whenever you can't attack what's in the active, you can attack what's in the bench, right? So that's that's the whole idea. And then. Over here, Kate's building a Zygarde GX deck <laughs> using the brand new baby Zygarde that hits for boosted damage. That boosted the, the damage output of your Pokemon. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun time. So before we get into the video, drop a like. If you guys if you guys like this, if you guys like that I'm trying to upload even without having a computer, the audio is not going to be as clean as it usually is whenever I'm editing it. And uh, there's not going to be a proper thumbnail, but I might take a picture. We'll see. <laughs> How's your tail skate? Tails. What is it? It's tails. tails. Oh, it's, a, it's a dang shame. It's a dang shame. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this. <sighs> so uh, there's going to be a lot of talking. Uh, we like to think through these games. Oh, God. Uh, all right, cool. I'll take that. We like, to, we like to think through. This is going to be our first time, for the most part, playing these games. We had like one test game, like literally one test game before this. So if there's any slow play or thinking or anything like that, please bear with us. Uh, we're still trying to figure, for the most part, she's trying to figure this out. You guys don't step onto my baby. I like the, I really like the Naga Nadel GX. I saw Omnifolk was talking a lot about Naga Nadel GX in this deck. And I was kind of skeptical at first, but like after doing some test hands, I ended up really liking it. So... Definitely a fan right now of the Naga GX. But we'll see. Oh, I'm also not playing Cherish Ball. Oh, sweet <laughs> me. And we're both weak to Psychic. Oh, I should probably put my prizes out here, right? <laughs> Never heard of prizes. I already won. Get out of here with it. <laughs> okay. right, let's check. Let's see everything look good. All right, sick. Okay, so what else is there to talk about? Oh, yeah, so I've been working like crazy. I've, I've actually worked about, this is probably, yeah, this is day eight in a row of me working. Uh, I actually got a promotion. So now I'm working like eight hour days and this is eight day in a row. And I'm, only, I'm doing this on purpose because I told them I need as many days as possible. But man, I'm exhausted. I got off early today. Uh, I had to go in early, but I got off around four o'clock today. So that was pretty cool. So Mew Me Too, I like playing this because, uh, so like we're going to be discarding a lot of, uh, a lot of, Ultra Beast in this deck. Sometimes we just lose Bucephalons. Sometimes we want to discard Bucephalons. This gives me a Psychic type presence. And I'm playing this mostly for the Guardian matchup. Um, this deck, <laughs> my original build of this deck had like nine Stadium cards in it, right? Because I really wanted to play uh, Big Oven. What, what's that card called again? I messaged you what it was actually a card called. Giant, uh, it's called Giant Furnace. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so Giant Furnace. So I'm playing Giant Furnace. So I want to play Light Center Labs, Giant Furnace, Heat Factory, and Ultra Space. Quickly found out when you play too many stadiums, it's not a good idea. So <laughs> I ended up cutting out Light Labs, and this is my way to play around Guardian because Guardian has the Ultra Beast 
the Ultra Beast thing, the Ultra Beast tag. Yeah, the, the Ultra Fairy Charm. Yeah. Fairy Charm. The Ultra Beast Fairy Charm. So this is my way of being able to attack around the Ultra Beast Fairy Charm because they can only have one Fairy Charm attached to watch. Unfortunately, they can also have Power Plant down while the Ultra Beast Fairy Charm, which means that they're completely immune to my board besides my baby Nagas. Uh, but there is the benefit of being able to attach the Bench Guardy with the Naga Nadel GX, the Dragon one. And also, like, I can just bump the Power Plant. I play, like, seven stadiums in this deck still, something like that. It's, like, four Ultra Space, two Furnace, one Heat Factory. So I'm still playing a good amount of stadiums. It's not like we're going to whiff out on stadiums. Uh, so we should be able to attack with this more, than, more often than enough. All right, let's see. It'll be really sick. Oh, how much do I need to do to take a turn one knockout? Oh, should I just go for it? I kind of just want to go for it. <laughs> I need to hit you for. I have to have. I have to draw a fire energy off a of welder. If I can draw fire energy off a of welder, I take a knockout, and that'd be heckin' spicy. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Um, do I want to bench this? I could just discard it. Uh. No, I think I actually have to discard it. But then I don't have like a B stream target. So never mind, I can't discard it. Uh, I'm going back in. This is really, this is like going super all in if I make this play. Are you going to do it? I kind of want to because like we're recording right now. <laughs> it's not the best play, but it's the fun way. It's the fun play. Hey, um, that's what people want to see, right? Yeah, let's see. I guess I'm losing this. So I do play a one of Psychic Energy in this deck just to attack with Naga more often. Because you can just B-string and find the Psychic Energy, which is why I'm playing it. But I guess I'll just thin a little bit more. So I play like a bajillion energies in this deck, right? I guess even if I don't take the knockout here, I can weaken you, I guess. So it's not like the end of the world, even if I whip the knockout. But it still seems like a, not a bad play, because it takes, like you have to find a switch, right? You're not gonna be able to s retreat very easily without finding one of your two switches. So yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. I'll just draw a fire. Ha <laughs> baby, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take my knockout, please and thank you. Hey, you for that nice psychic weakness. Three hondo damage, three hondo. Come here, three prizes. Turn one, turn one, ladies and gentlemen. Turn one. <laughs> Let me just maximize <laughs> the damage. <laughs> How about we calm down here? All right, so what am I going to do now? I don't want to have a real good follow-up play. <laughs> um, hmm. Um, yeah, and you got the black belt, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice. you have any fighting energies down there? One. Oh, I mean, I guess that's all you need, huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty sick. <laughs> I'm glad I got that on camera. Dude, welder's broken. Oh, Why is that a card? They should have they should never print a welder. But then again, if they never printed a welder, Reshi's art would have never been good. <laughs> what would our format be if Reshi's art wasn't good? I guess our boom. Our old bam. All right, hit me for all the damage. That's like 60 more plus, no, 20, 40 more because it only activates, hopefully it's not wrong, it only activates Okay, wall. so one, two. Yeah, so 80 more damage, yeah. so maybe for 100. 100. Can you, do you have your phone on you? No. Oh, okay. I would like to double check because like, I'm always wrong, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, draw, Whipple Bench. 100, right? It's only 80, because you don't you don't increase your own damage. Oh yeah, it's 80 more damage. 100, you're right, my bad. Uh, what am I trying to accomplish here? Fire and Jesus just go by. I guess we'll be good. I'm not getting one. I might get a welder. I don't know. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just get a welder off this heat factory. Oh, would you look at that? A welder. Wow. <laughs> What are you talking about? I don't, I don't know what the big deal is. Uh, <laughs> Bocephalon is my baby. I'll take my knockout, please, and thank you. 
You're gonna win in two turns. Uh, it's already been two turns, so you're incorrect. I said two more turns. Uh, it's not. It's actually not what you said, but it's fine. I meant two more turns. <laughs> there we go. It's five down here. All right, cool. It's alright. We'll be able to squeeze in the second game. Good to keep track. All right. You may just take a knockout here, right? How much actually do you do if you find the others? If you find another stadium, and you hit me with like Zygar GX for fifty, actually you would still need to find a manual attachment. Why? Um, so fifty. I already attached here. Oh, you didn't. Never mind. Yeah. But would attach you there be fine? I'm just trying to think of all the math. If you hit me for this one, 50 plus 40 is 90 plus the other two is, that's 40 more. So it's 130, 130, yeah, that wouldn't be enough. Yeah, it's like 230. Yeah, you need to get two more Zygards, which is technically possible, although unlikely. <laughs> so are manually attached? Yeah, no, I'm just saying, I'm just thinking hypothetically. <laughs> I would have been so, it would have been so funny if you just benched two Zygars there. <laughs> and that the Marco Lights dojo. Be like, oh man, should have believed in the sauce. So I'm currently not playing Pokecom in this deck, and I'm playing Fan Club instead. What are you thinking, just from playing it? Because um, you used Fan Club in our test game. Yeah. But. I used Fan Club in this game. You did? Yeah, oh, okay. while you were talking first turn. Cool. Um. I don't know, like, I, the, my problem with Pokecom in this deck is that, like, what would you put back? Most Pokemon you want to keep in your hand or put on the board. Yeah, you're right. Like, the only Pokemon that's in there that you'd want to put back is, I guess, sometimes Mew Mewtwo in the right matchups. And, uh, Marsh Champ. Yeah. Oh, my factory. I was producing spicy hands with that card. Is that what she did for now? 100. Good. Still. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 20, 40, 80, 20, 100. You're almost dead, boy. Yeah. You are right. Can't really do anything about it either. Um. You gotta find another Willy. Willy for one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a that's a pass for me, dog. Oh. Is it GX time? No. No? You're not gonna retreat in GX one? No. Why? I'm gonna hit you for another 100 for the knockout. Oh, I don't have any energies in there. Hold on. You don't need it, you have. You have the beast thing. You have the black belt, I mean, so you wouldn't need it. I know, but okay, fine, 100 for the knockout. Okay. Uh, how would I do this? This is gonna be a really weird turn. Oh, you know what I never did? I never charged it up, and I, I've had energies down there. Anyways, this is my turn, I'm gonna charge up right now. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Uh, okay, so you have your three prizes, I'm down to two. Draw for turn. Are you ready for this? It's almost Exodia. Oh my god! <laughs> it's almost Exodia. I mean, I don't win because you left your thing up, which is a good play, I guess. Where do I want these? I take uh, two on each. <laughs> oh, it's feeling that way, honestly, because like I can't give you Bocephal on this turn, because that wouldn't be a good play. Maybe it would be. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. No, I lost my psychic energy. Okay, I might have to. Do I have Beast in here? Okay, I might actually have to go ham and try to find a Beast with Naga GX. Because I could take a knockout here and just focus the rest of the game off. But I would only have one turn to do it. Hmm. How many energies are left in this deck? There should be lots of energies, right? Um, ooh, not many. We'll see, I guess. The double custom catcher could be problematic, too. What else could I do? I don't really have a lot of things I can hit. Anyways, 
Mississippi as well. Hmm. So what's my game plan here? My game plan is to try to find Beast Naga GX, which I have lots of outs to find the Naga GX, but finding the Beast Energy is not as easy. But if I can get something similar to that office idea, because I haven't manually attached yet, then <clears throat> I could take a game here. I got man, yeah, I could like almost solidify game. I think that would like solidify game actually, so we'll see. Okay, there's a Naga GX. I would still need like two more attachments though. Let's use the ability. Cards in hand. Seven. Stamp you now. Tap the beast. But I still need another attachment if I'm going to do anything. Okay, so I have lots of outs to find my other attachment, although there's only one more energy left in the deck. So in hindsight, what I should have done, and knowing I shouldn't, I wasn't going to attack with this card. Uh, I probably should have not put, I only should have put like one energy on this Naga instead of two. But regardless, I'm still going to retreat. Run this up on, and like it's literally all up to next turn now. I'll just take my knockout. I need to keep two on there so I can retreat. So I think getting rid of these would be the right play. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, it's all up to next turn. This is like a mirror of what happened in our last game. <laughs> when you were trying to draw for a game. Yeah. I haven't found any of my heat furnaces. And I still have a fire energy on there. In there. <clears throat> the problem is my deck is like super thick. And I'm running low on Ultra Beast as well. To use Naga and Adele GX with. But how many treasures do I have? Treasures are also Ultra Beast Hunters. Yeah, I have I have almost all my treasures left. I only played one. Take cards? Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you told me. Let's see. Are we still recording? And thank you for reminding me to take my prize, guys. That was the energy I needed. If that wasn't the most unfair game I've ever seen, I'll just knock out the fancy. <laughs> I don't know what is. If you guys don't know, Naga Adele hits 170 on any of your opponent's Pokemon by discarding two energies. That was the most unfair game. Let's just go ahead and s s immediately start the next game. <laughs> but we're just recording a video, who cares? Guys, I promise you this is a one-off. Um, yeah, whatever. I promise it's a one up, guys. <laughs> and I also promise I play four GXs. Yikes. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. It's a guard day. Should I tell him about my day? About your day? Yeah. That you went to the mall? Yeah. You got sunglasses? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I got sunglasses. Buy one, get two free. Ayo. So you get contacts now and all of a sudden you just sunglass city? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I went to work and I made grilled cheese sandwiches all day. I ate a grilled cheese sandwich too. Oh boy. Mm. Shame I can't gust. Oh, 
I'm really not too sure how I like that card in this deck. Mm -hmm. Like, Revenge is cool. Like, you can hit for an immediate 120 for, like, one energy if you have a black belt on it. But, I don't know, it's still kind of weird. It is cool, though. You can play this technically in any deck now if you're looking for a fighting-type attacker. Because uh, if you play black belt, that means it's revenge attack is only a colorless attached class. Yeah. So, like, you can put that in any deck, which is cool. I was honestly thinking about putting it in here. Uh, to, to discard it and then attack using you Mewtwo. Mewtwo's attack with a black belt on it. But, you know, it's kind of hard to fit all that garbage in this deck, so I'm not. But Revenge is cool. Well. So it's like good, it's really good because Pika Rom's a thing. So like you can exit, you can immediately and exactly Oko Pika Rom's as long as you don't have like weakness energy on them or something. Um. I guess we'll take a sad pass. Oh boy. A lot of cards in this hand and it immediately makes me think I probably should have followed my advice and shuffled. No, I don't even think I want to play this card down. I don't even want to bother. Like, there's like 70 other stadiums in this deck I'd want to find instead of Team Factory. I'm not digging right now, I don't need a Factory. All I need is Ultra Space. Uh, I guess Big Oven wouldn't be that bad, or Giant Furnace, or whatever that card's gonna be called. Where'd you get this copy? Did you get a Bug Beach? Uh, Luminous? They had it as Giant Furnace. Mm -hmm. I guess I should've found a Giant Are we running low on ink? Yeah. Are we? Ugh, whatever. It's okay, I can buy it. Most cards are printed anyways. We're not gonna need a new ink cartridge for another two or three months. <sighs> Alright, um... I'll use Cynthia. I think that's a fat pass from me, big dog. The other cool thing about Mimi too is that if I ever like ditch my not gonna Del GX, I can just use the attack with him. Oh yeah. I was honestly considering putting two psychic energies in this deck just so I have access to using his GX attack. But why didn't you? Because I don't think I would ever manually attach two energies to me too, like at any point in the game. I feel like if I'm ever doing that, I'm always playing wrong. So I didn't do that. And also, I'm not going to go around putting in a bunch of, this is for the viewers, I'm not putting in a bunch of random GX cards to make Mew Mewtwo really cool in this deck when he's a one of. And also, there's no deck space for it. It's still a Bicephalon deck. At the end of the day. How do you always land? I do not always land. Everywhere. I literally... Look. <laughs> you did it in our test game, okay? Leave me alone. No, look. I discarded this, and I discarded this. Yeah, but in our test game, you landed three for three. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> you landed a fighting energy every time. Yeah, but that was one game. I ripped my shirt. You did? Work shirt. Yeah, I, I have to go that. buy a new one. But I don't got that kind of page. I'll have to buy it next week. Yeah, because next time I work is Friday. So I could probably buy something on Thursday and then get paid the next day. That's not true. No, I, actually, no, never mind. I forgot I scheduled myself. No, I work like almost every day again next week, too. I'm putting wood floors in my room. So that's going to be really echoey when I record. So I have to fix the audio settings once I get my computer back. Or a new one. We'll see. <coughs> you can use it? Yeah. Alright, cool. Two more dogs. Oh, oh, oh. Jirachi. Oh. And Doggo. Oh. Oh, that's a dog. <coughs> so you're hitting me for... You know what you should do instead of dog? Yeah, grab Diane's Yeah, yeah that's probably better. Okay. Oh. No, 
Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. If Nancy's in my hand. <laughs> Nancy's in my hand. <laughs> it's like, oh, would you look at that? No. I gotta check the camera still. Yeah, we okay. are still good. 10, 20. So, 50 damage? Yep. All Spicy. Right. Oh. I don't know how that happened. This, this, we did. Five. I guess we'll do this. Do this. Whack. It happens. No, it's impossible to take that. There's no taking that back there. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. No, it's not a GX anymore. Let's we'll play that down. Hmm. Now that the Sephon's down, I can finally attack. Uh, let's see what else I can do. Pipe tap. Okay, I'm going to use Naga. Draw three. That's my best way. Okay. I start the GX attack. No. <laughs> I like that card. You have to attach it. Oh, is that? Oh, I forgot. That's how that works. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> also, I'll charge you up. <laughs> I forgot. It's not. I'm so used to only playing fire energies that I thought the text said exclusively fire energies. Yo, that's sick. Actually, never mind. I take it all back. That's 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 nasty. No, stop doing that. Okay. Every time. <laughs> you know, you only play four stadiums. I, I play seven. Stop bumping my stadiums, bro. Bro. Shut up. Bro. Alright, well, that's annoying. I was going to use Ultra Space to draw more cards next turn. <clears throat> now I wish I didn't bench this. Oh, well. I still need two, because if I use B strings, I would like to have two of the Cephalons down. Uh, I didn't take a knockout, so okay. But I can still use Black Belt. You can. I was thinking about discarding energies. Or, I guess, removing energies. Hmm. That's unideal. You know what's really interesting, actually? I never really thought about this until now. I could technically use Mew that I play in here to, uh, to stop Pete Grom from doing its shenanigans. So put three damage counters on Zygarde and then finish it off with Naga. That's pretty cute. 80. Oh yeah, 40 more damage plus 20 more damage. Yeah. I don't have any energy. Okay. What am I doing? This is a weird play, but I don't, I want to draw more, I don't like losing B-string, but I'll lose B-string here. I really want another Poipo down though, but I need to draw cards, so I guess I'm just going to lose Poipo. If I have a Poipo, I can't really stretch a Poipo. How many Poipos do I have? Do I have Ditto? Hmm. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm just gonna grab a Naga. <coughs> I'll use it. Draw three. Furnace. 
By the way, don't forget to abuse furnace yourself if you're trying to thin. Yes, indubitably. Can you yeah, I will. Scaling them. There you go. Thank you. See, I didn't like discarding a B string there because of that, exactly. So now I have one less chance of drawing a B string. Mm. But I really like the idea. So what do I do here? I can try to find a welder. If I find a welder off this, then I'm not really looking like a friend. Okay, you have 130 on you. Yes. I'm 140. No, yeah, no 130, right? Amen. You take a knockout, don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, you... but I'm seeing if I can take a knockout with revenge. Oh, with revenge? Uh, okay. You don't have that antsy, so I don't think you can. Yeah. Revenge would be a pretty good attack right now, actually. If you could. Too bad to answer the price, that'd suck. It's actually cool, because, like... Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to... So, yeah, it's only two good things. So, I'm going to attach here, and I can both back up here. Switch. Okay, so I have not very long to find a B string. Let's see what I can do. This is not going super super. Plus, I'm gonna find another. Um, I'm gonna use furnace. I guess it's smarter. Uh, it's really matter. It thins regardless, but what if I Sure, we'll do that. I wanna make sure we have plenty of energies for B strings to land as well as to keep throughout the game. string I have so many outs right now. Just gotta draw into one of them and just thin the deck by three. So so I'm playing supported either so I could technically thin more but it's gonna be really hard. Okay. Are you looking for welder? Yeah that's what I'm saying. I, I don't want to play my supporter if unless it's welder. So I'll draw three. Okay. So we'll start with B string. Energy. I don't actually knock out side guard, which I can't do this turn anyways, but just a thought. Go to top. Here. And then I'll use welder as well. And I'll retreat and reattach using the ability.
I want to open one search. You open one search. I got rid of it. Yeah, I did. I had to cut some things. And Zerg was the first one to go. So I was playing two beforehand. If you guys don't know, this is what it's like for us to record. Because we're both thinking, right? Because we're trying to get a good quality game, so I can't just be doing commentary. And then I can't make fun of my opponents like I do when uh, he's a Jew. <laughs> Even though I never do that. Because all my opponents are great people. I'm going to drink my juice. <gasps> not sponsored. I hope that wasn't on camera. <laughs> it's not. Um... Yeah, you have the two more Zygards or a Diancy Zygarde. And then you also have to play Bonnie. <laughs> yeah. I gotta search. Um, yeah, this just goes back to like, this is like less your fault because you just don't know the deck as well. But here's where like, the deck goes off if you can draw the right cards because it's literally just comes down to uh, Cause it's it's not super hard to find the stuff, but you can't play like fan club and yeah, I'll play Bonnie at the same time. Easy. And GX for one seventy. Okay, and it's still a good play because I can't blink and knock it on you. I would have to find more crazy combo pieces. All right, um, giant furnace. Ditto. Do I have any more fire and CC? Oh yeah, because I discard them. Could I guess attack with this card? It's not super necessary though, I guess. Hmm. I can't gust. I just really need to knock you out, but I just can't do it. I can't do it. I'm still in B-string, although it doesn't really matter right now anymore. Um, I'm just gonna Lily first. And I'll Naga. I'll B-string. Let's get the liquids in here. Because I really don't want to find Mew. yet. So I guess I'm just going to do that. I also haven't used Giant Furnace either. So I think I'm going to go back in to use Furnace. Yeah, let me use Furnace here. You didn't attach anything off Beastbrain. Yeah, I, know. I chose not to. Okay. I have to make, like I have to like the thing with Salvan Ray is that you have to be careful how many energies you keep in the deck because you don't want to lose every manual attachment you have. Retreat into this dude. Manual attach here. So he for 80. No weakness, unfortunately. <laughs> Custom catcher. Not yet. No, my boy. But you're not GXing me, are you? Because no. if you don't, I still win. Oh, you win? Yeah, I'm going to take stuff on. Okay, wait. What do you do? <laughs> Honestly, your better play would be to knock this out, right? Yeah. Because this, I can't knock you out with this unless I find Welder. Um, but I can't knock that out. Well, yeah, you have to find one more. One more damage bust booster. Yeah. I'm actually surprised how you haven't found many this game. So maybe your better play is to pull up Cephalon and hope I don't have Welder. I 
many wounds have you played? I think I've only played one. Yeah, I've only played one. Yeah. Or just retreat. That's the other option. Yeah. You still take a knockout this way. Yeah, that way I don't have the sniping option while well, I was talking about retreating into a non-GX. Because I can potentially knock you out with a manual attachment, which I, you know I have. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. How much damage do you Actually, have? Actually, no, well, yeah, you, you, you had, uh, I had a lot of damage on me. I'm assuming you didn't knock out. Yeah, you had one side, it's 170 on me, so you just got hit me for 50, which you, oh, you don't. I forgot to, about that. I have to hit you with washing yeah. on the chain up. Alright, revenge. I have one, two, three, four, five. But you know I win the game if I do this still. Because you know I have a manual attachment in hand. What am I supposed to do? How can I get them up? Hmm. Can you do Jirachi Shane, I guess? You have switches or anything like that? I can. I guess I can use Sinkeroo. Yeah, you can go into Zygarde. Because you have to go into. Well, let's just not switch yet. Let's go back into your Zygarde GX. Um, which is assume we haven't made all the plays yet, right? If you send you here <clears throat> and you find like two more damage buffs or something like that, um, all right, I'm gonna play you, that. You have to, oh, you don't have to dance, right? Um, no, because like you've only lost one Zygarde this game, right? I think I've only taken one knockout on the Zygarde. Yeah, there's only one Zygarde down here, so you do still have two more Zygarde's in the deck. And. I'm assuming you still haven't found Diancy. No, I haven't. Okay. God, those sleeves are done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now I have to go through, get my other sleeves. <clears throat> it's like, you know, 70, you have to hit me for 40, which is just, no, you only need one more Zygarde, you don't need to. My bad. I don't know why I kept thinking saying two. If I'm at 170, you only have to hit me for 20, for 40 damage. So if you can find one Zygarde, now look. Oh, I guess I can't think of anything else. Well, you don't want to give me any GXs. Like, I think you're better off not taking a knockout this turn. Like, going to Diancy. Or, I mean, Jirachi would probably be better. Just because mm -hmm. I, you lose. <laughs> you lose if I, if I take a GX knockout of any kind. And you know I can. So... <clears throat> You can use Jirachi, I'm just trying to think of other things. Because like you just have to hope I don't have Welder, essentially. If I do have Welder, I win regardless. But whiffing Zygarde kind of sucked. Because that was a cool play. I'm not going to lie. Oh, you have a switch. Oh, you have a switch. Oh, that was sick, too. You had so many outs. That was unfortunate. Did you have the Zygarde in there? Or did you have like a bunch of Zygarde's prize? Because like, your deck's thin, and you only found two the whole game. I don't know. But I guess they're prized. I mean... There would be Di Diancy, Zygarde, Zygarde in there. Yeah. And they're prized. Is that fast? Yeah. Alright. And then I have all the free game. Oh, it's a <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. What an unfortunate series. This is why we shuffle, ladies and gentlemen. But. You're trying my best shuffle. No, it's not your fault. It's not your fault by any means. Um, <clears throat> yeah, because if you took a knockout on my. On my active, then I wouldn't have been able to take a return knockout. You could have tried to set up for a game, actually. You could have won that game, actually. You actually could have won that game. Because what would have happened if you didn't have all those shenanigans prized and didn't get them in your first three prizes, which is ridiculous to me, uh, you would have taken a knockout, taken your two prizes. You have one prize left, right? Then you have Zygarde GX that you would have charged up again. Then all you have to do is find a manual attachment and just... You'd have two Zygarde's down, so that's plus 40 damage. You would need one more damage buff, because you'd hit me for 170. Uh, revenge would not be enough. You had one act Actually, no, it's like... No, yeah, never mind. You might march out on the champ's GX attack. Is it three energies or four? It's three. Oh, then you could have won with that card, because I think that card hits me for 160. So, like, Diancy down would have been 180. So this is all, like, if your Diancy wasn't prized kind of thing, which am I shuffling this all wrong? No, I'm not. Okay, cool. Well, anyways, that's going to be the game, guys. I will have the deck profiles up soon. Once again, no background music, no special things like that. I do apologize. This is all being 
uploaded pretty much raw. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys want to help me to get a computer again so I can upload more often, more content, um, you know, I have a Patreon that you guys can go check out. I have merch. I want to give a special shout out to my buddy Charlene who bought multiple shirts and hoodies. <laughs> so thank you so much. Um, Patreon peeps, I do appreciate all you guys. I just got my Patreon check today, which helps me out. It's, it's only like right now, it's only like 15 ish dollars, but I do appreciate all of you guys. If you guys want to support uh, Patreons down there, I have my my um, what's it called uh my paypal email my my business email is my same thing as my paypal email so i know people like to donate that way i do appreciate that shout out to my sponsors as always like garden gaming and thank you kate i appreciate you for coming by expect to see more kate as we play more games uh let me know what you guys want to see me play next i have a couple decks built but it's all just a matter of like can i get these videos uploaded and whatnot and yeah i guess i'll see you guys next time Bye. Peace. Wanna say something? Bye. <laughs>